Hello, welcome back. Uh, we're just entering down the transit access tube. I guess we're looking at the. Oh, there's that altered item. I guess we, we best investigate this thing. I remember that camera. How the hell did it get out? Yeah, right. Are they his shooting movies now? Spookiest camera. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I guess we're just as fading starting with slip platform <laughs> ult activate. After that camera. Alrighty. We're in an action movie now. Yep. Is this all there's gonna be? Oh, here we go. Oop. Maybe we should switch. Jump. <laughs> Dash across here. Jump. Well, this is cute. <laughs> Goodbye, platform. <laughs> Oops.
Third Act villain. <laughs> by that pillar. Nice. Just barely. <laughs> Generating my health in the middle of combat without killing guys. There's the camera. the intended exit. Alright. Well, it wasn't that cute. Here, aren't I? I saved the bureau once, and I'll do it again. Here, yeah, right. I've served under two directors. Three now, I suppose. Trench and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, the casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. And he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual and mystery. After that, key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters. Past and present. But with Faden... Well, there's no protocol for field promotion. The girl's smart, has a good head on her shoulders. Trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs while I hold them off here. All this shit with the nail, the board, I'm not sure she's ready. Besides, I work better alone. Alright, 
hardcore. The astral plane, now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. Copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Now, whether astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by a higher intelligence, which is the board, remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounter with these entities serve when binding objects of power in the astral planes indicate they serve as, as live targets for potential para-utilitarians para to practice on. Uh, some have been equipped with bureau per weaponry, uh, although it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. Uh, and it's important to note they appear immune to, immune to his description. Oh, look at that. There's a, another doorway there. Another etching. Like the one I used to get in here. Just look behind the etching first. Okay, so that's the way we're gonna uh, exit out. All right. Is this the lock slash key the board told me about? Yeah, it's like crumbling. It's keeping away the, the weird evil, I guess. I think we already fought it in the previous encounter, maybe. Cool. Uh, that's really neat. It's like an extra little area that we didn't see earlier. Oh yeah, it's like way up here. you're here what are you doing down here Emily what do you mean you called me down remember I'm pretty sure I didn't no that's right you didn't but then I remember you needing me to come here I mean you even told me how to get in let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work she <laughs> takes everything in stride the board called me down here to deal with the situation the astral plane is colliding with our world, I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, 
but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire Bureau, and possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. The Borg told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Did you notice all the Bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. You think Darling knew about this? I put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? Or... I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. Interesting. All right, let's see here. Whoa, we have a lot of ability points now. Um, well, let's see. Locked. Yeah. Okay. Definitely want to be able to use, uh, get my energy back while the shield is up. Ugh, well, uh, it's possible that we're not going to find any remote thoughts down here. It's We might need to go back up to the top to get that unlocked, unfortunately. Right. Well, uh, that's a bit of a shorter one, but on the next time we're gonna take uh, the next step towards, uh, I guess, fixing the nail. All right. See you next time.